hi guys, my name's Andy Crowley and in this lesson we're looking at how to play Dirty Deeds by ACDC. I'm filming this after being inspired by seeing them at Wembley Arena on the Saturday night just gone. Uh, absolutely amazing gig, they're more of a force of nature live rather than just, a, just seeing a rock band. In private lessons I'd put a massive focus on just the opening riff. It's a fantastic song but all the guitar detail is really just in the intro which happens four times and that will be the focus of this lesson but I'll show you how to play the rest of it as well. And again in private lessons I'd be showing plenty of examples of these fairly straightforward but recognisable and short rock riffs. You'll find more of these easy rock riffs in a playlist that I've made by clicking the cards feature in the top corner, you'll find that, my Easy Rock Riffs playlist. If there are any that aren't on there or any riffs that you think I should do, make sure you tell me in the comments and I'll film as many of them as I can for you. Let's get in for a close-up for Dirty Deeds. <laughs> So this riff is based on the three open power chords we have. E power chord, an A power chord, and a D power chord. If you need more help with those, check out the link in the description to the video on easy open power chords. But essentially, we just want your first finger, second fret of the uh, fifth string, and we're gonna pick the thickest two strings. And that is our E power chord. And just to talk through the power chords, first of all, we've got the A power chord, move everything down a string, and the D power chord, move everything down a string again. Again, if you need more help with those, it's links in the description. Um, the other chord we have is just going to be a G power chord. The easiest way to do it is put your middle finger at the third fret of the thickest E string. And to beef it up a little bit, what we can do is mute the string underneath it, with uh, that same middle finger, just have it leaning on it, which will take it out, and then play the third string. And that's how we get our easy G power chord. And to talk you through the riff, it goes through each one of those chords in turn, um, ascending as well, so E to G, A, then D, just going higher each time, but it always comes back to the E. Basically, so I've just taught you through it now. We've got the E power chord Let that ring out and then we have G straight back to E So that one more time E G straight back to E G E And then from there We go to the A power chord and then back to E And finally the D chord And then back to E so after each new chord, it goes straight back to the E again, and that's the main riff, which happens four times. Let's, let me demonstrate it one more time. E, G, E, A, back to E, and then D, straight back to E. Now it's crucial to get the timing of the record, so you've got to listen to that introduction a good few times or listen to me at the start of this video to make sure that you get that rhythm right. Because when you just hit in open chords, it becomes all about rhythm, all about your picking hand. Can you pick those, just the strings that we want in heard, so just the root note of the chord, and then the string that's the next one down, and then play them at the correct time, which is the timing that I've just demonstrated there, so... Okay. Now to play this authentically to that original record, we'll want to put a mute just before every strum. So before you strum, you just lay the outside of the palm of your hand down, just there. Okay, and we're actually going to deaden everything. We don't want any chugs on this one, we're going to deaden everything. So just to overemphasize this muting. And it really makes everything much more choppy and is 
a crucial skill to acquire when you're looking at these easy rock riffs. Let's just have a focus on the picking hand now. So you can see the hand goes down here, flat against all six strings, just above where this bridge pickup is. And you want to do it without getting any noise in there. We actually want silence. G, E, A, E, D. And if you know the song very well, that will be fairly straightforward for you. If you're quite new to the song, it's a strange one because there's only the first strum which is on the beat. Everything else is on an and and we're muting on the beat. So it's not the easiest ACDC riff. The easier ones are certainly Highway to Hell or uh, TNT. There are definitely other videos that you want to check out of mine and even Long Way to the Top. Much easier than this one, but still fairly straightforward. Let's try and play it together, and we're going to go for four times, which would be the intro of the record. As I say, this is the bit to get. If you haven't got this introduction, moving on to the rest of the song, as I'll demo in a second, isn't the best thing to do. You want to nail this introduction. So along with me, in one, two, three, four. G E A E. D, two, three, four, loop it again. Two, three, four, E. Final time, E. A, E. And then we're on to our verse. The verse is very straightforward. It's just a D chord, but we're only playing the thicker street three strings of it. So we have the D open root note, your first finger at second fret of the third string, and then put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string, the B string. And then we don't play that thinnest E string. So if we can mute it with a flatter first finger, that's really what we're after. And then we just go back to the E. With all of these chords, you can use the other power chord versions of this. So a standard power chord shape at fifth and seventh fret, but it's more authentic to use the open power chords when trying to nail this ACDC sound. And then went into the verse, so we hit the DE. If you're having trouble with your high school head, he's giving you the blues. DE again. You wanna graduate, but on his head, here's what you gotta do. DE. Pick up the phone, I'm always home, call me anytime. And then we hit the D to E again and, and three times, okay? So D, E, D, E, D, E, and then the last final one, after three of those, D, E, 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 E. So one final D, one, two, three, four, five. That whole bridge section again. And I mute at the end. D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, 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 E. And then we're into our chorus section, which is nice and straightforward. We have an A chord. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. Okay, so that's an A power chord. And then A to the single G note to an A power chord again. So A, G, A, dirty deeds, A, G, A, dirty deeds, A, G, A, and then dirty deeds on an E power chord, E, D, E, and again just that 
rock D chord, the D power chord again. E, D, E. So whole chorus is the demo. Dirty deeds, A, G, A. Dirty deeds, E, D, E. Dirty deeds, A, G, A. And then just let the E ring out. Dirty deeds, A, G, A. And then it's back to the verse again. That intro riff only happens at the start of the song four times, and then there's a reoccurrence of it um, in over the solo, guitar solo, and right at the end of the song as well. So um, it doesn't really happen that many times. So you've got to really nail it to the beginning of the record. Um, the chord sheet will be in the description below if you click the link to my website to help you throughout the rest of the song. Um, but really to navigate through this song and, and other rock songs, you can't really be... The chord sheet will prompt you, but you don't want to rely on it too much because you end up just playing riff 1, riff 2, riff 3. You know, it's, it's less of a intro verse, chorus, verse, chorus structure. It's, you more have to keep tabs on how many times you've done the riff. It's each individual section you want to get nailed and then know the record really well. Listen to the record as many times as you could stand to memorize how the song goes. If you've enjoyed this lesson and learned how to play Dirty Deeds, give this lesson a like, subscribe so you get all the newest uploads from my channel, and let me know in the comments below if you want me to do any other rock riffs or any songs. Uh, it's generally a beginner's channel that I'm running here, but I can take on uh, a bunch more requests now. So let me know in the comments what you guys want, and I'll get those filmed for you. Hope to see you real soon. Bye for now.